If your G-Hub is also littering with profiles, you can delete unwanted profiles rather easily. To access your profiles quickly, you will see all of them listed in this drop down in the top right. And if you click on the manage profiles button, it will bring you right to all of your games and applications and all of the different profiles that you have. Uh, so as you can see, as soon as you delete a game from your system, a profile automatically becomes uh, inactive, as you can see by the list of not installed games on my system. So what do you want to do if you want to delete a profile? Let's say I want to delete the Rogue Company profile. And as soon as I click on it, this now becomes active. So you can head over to settings and then you will see a forget app option right here. You click on this. Uh, it will show you a drop down saying that all profiles and macros will be inaccessible for this application. Are you sure? Go ahead and click on yes and the profile will automatically be deleted from your system. If you install this particular application again, uh, you can just go ahead and click on the scan now button or you can manually add your profile as you want. And that's how you can delete profiles in Logitech G-Hub. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up as the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what most these videos can be make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website, Canada Technology, follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next one.